So the last type of reaction we are left with is the addition reaction. So it's again a simple reaction as you all know addition means you are adding something to a compound and you know that the addition reaction occur only if there is an extra bond. So or you can say that addition pro reaction is a property of the unsaturated compound because they are only the compounds which contain the extra bond as we know that uh, the alkenes contain one extra bond, one pi bond and alkynes there are two pi bonds. Right. So, what happened in, in it actually? So, it is a reaction in which the products get formed by addition of some reagent and obviously it has to occur in the unsaturated organic compound that is the alkenes or alkynes because they are the compounds which have the extra bond. So, just look at the example. Here I have the alkene that is the ethene. I am going to add HCl. Right. So, what happens? This uh, and we always keep in mind we have to restore the valency of carbon as 4. So, this H will attach to this carbon and Cl will attach to this carbon. There is no a definite rule that this hydrogen is going to attach to this one only and this Cl is going to attach to this. This is not any rule in this case of symmetrical alkene. So, it becomes CH3, CH2, Cl that is we have ethyl chloride or you can say the chloroethane. Now again as, the, as we divided the substitution depending upon the type of uh, this thing the uh, which group is replacing the other, other group we classified as electrophilic, uh, nucleophilic and free radical. Likewise if we are adding uh, this thing if, it, if the reaction is actually initiated will be the correct word. If it is initiated by addition of electrolyte that means the first atom which uh, or a group of atom which attach is an electrophile then it is called as electrophilic addition. And if, if the first group that gets attached to the organic compound is nucleophile then it is nucleophilic addition. And if it is initiated by the addition of free radical then it is the free radical in the same the addition reaction. So, just look at the example. Suppose I have the CH2 plus CH2 I am going to add HPR to it. So, what happened here? This will just result in shuffling of electrons first. So, what will happen? This is my electrophile, this is my uh, bromide ion. So, that means first this will get attached let us say to this place. So, what happens? It becomes CH3 and it is CH2, a carbocation and uh, so in the first step it will be formed plus Br negative and then this Br will attach to this compound forming CH3, CH2, Br. Right. And if there is an unsymmetrical alkene, we have already discussed in the alkenes when we were doing in hydrocarbons that if we are adding this kind of compound into an unsymmetrical alkene, we use the Markovnikov's rule which obeys that the negative part attaches to that carbon across the double bond which carries the lesser number of hydrogen ion. And we also studied there that this rule actually get reversed when the uh, peroxide is present like benzoyl peroxide is present that is the anti Markovnikov's rule is followed in that case. So, here we would not be discussing those rules actually because we will be doing in the hydrocarbons. So, as far as uh, we are concerned to this topic you should know that there can be an addition of uh, like if it is initiated by the addition of H positive it is strictly an electrophilic addition and what we do uh, this H gets attached resulting in the formation of carbocation then this nucleophile uh, addition is followed. But it is called as an electrophilic addition because it is initiated by uh, first by an addition of electrophile. Next we have is the nucleophilic addition. So, what happened? I have this compound that is the acetaldehyde. I am going to add a cyanide radical to it. So, what do I get? I get this thing bond between C and O gets single because we know that the addition occur only when there is an extra bond and this bond will be formed here. It will make cyanide attach and as a result O will get the negative charge. Now, what we do in the second case we add H positive because C n was not alone it was actually H C n. So, what happened now? It forms CH3, C, C, N, H same and O gets attached to OH. So, this is something called as acetylhyde cyanohydrin, acetaldehyde cyanohydrin. Now, if it is initiated by the addition of free radical, so obviously it is called as the free radical uh, addition reaction. So, just see here what happens here. Suppose this is my Br, right. So, what happens or I will take an example a proper example I will show you within uh, this thing reaction let it see it is HBr. So, it undergoes heterolytic uh, homolytic fission and forming the result of uh, formation in the result of free radicals. So, now I have this compound CH3 CH double bond CH2 
So what happened? It is going to be initiated by the free radical. So let's say we initiate it with Br dot. So what happened? It will gain an electron. It, they will just equally share the electrons. So what will happen? It will be something like that, and this will be a free radical. Now this will react with the another free radical that is the H, and result in the formation of CH3, CH2, CH2, Br. That is the uh, this thing, propyl bromide or bromo uh, propane. So this is what is the addition reaction. So we have discussed almost all the reactions, uh, the general reactions. And apart from that, you may encounter a kind of isomerization reaction. So isomerization is also kind of rearrangement because uh, here, what they do there, the cis form is changing into the trans form, or you can say that if it is uh, two propanol, it, uh, sorry, two butanol, it is becoming the three butanol. So this is how you can encounter actually uh, this thing, the isomerization reaction, and they are actually nothing but the subtype of the rearrangement reactions right though the conditions are different but still they are the isomerization ones so these are all the reactions which we have discussed they are the common reactions which occur in case of the organic compounds and you need to remember these reaction and all obviously you should be able to uh, do a certain kind of reaction or predict the type of the reaction you should know that and uh, uh, this thing if you talk about their uh, types so it's very simple because you just have to consider an electrophile nucleophile and the free radical and you already know that what actually they are right you know that in the previous uh, lecture we did that what are electrophiles that is with the positive charge the neutral compounds you know everything so before starting this you should be well versed with the type of the attacking reagent because once you will be uh, familiar with that then it will be a uh, uh, you can say uh, a quick task for you to learn this thing so this is what is the organic reactions